everybody. God creates everything out of nothing. He continually creates by his word. He creates you by his word. And what does he give to you? I mean, he loves you. He wants to take care of you. He wants to provide for you. So he gives you everything you need for this body and life, clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, wife, children, land, animals, and all that you need to support this body and life. And then on top of that, we pray it in the Lord's Prayer, that fourth petition, all those daily bread things that God gives you, like good government, good weather, good reputation, good friends, faithful neighbors, faithful workers, good and devout husband, good and devout wife, devout children. And then Luther says, and the like. And here's here's a little inside thing for y'all. If you ever want like the inside scoop about stuff, you know, it's not the inside scoop about higher things. They don't let me in there. It's probably a good thing. They don't let me know anything that happens on the inside. But, you know, I'm, I'm a blabber mouth. I'm kidding. Nothing happens on the inside. But the thing is, this is a little little tidbit. When Luther says, and the like, that's when he had to use the bathroom real bad. So he just wrote, and the like, and then ran to the bathroom. So he had more to say, but he just didn't have time to. I mean, the dude ate like beef and drank beer all the time. He was messed up. But he gives all these things is what God gives you, this daily bread for everything you need. So God's going to take care of you. And we see Bible passages about this, like the feeding of the 5,000 feeding of the 4,000. Jesus sees people in need and he says, I feel compassion on them. I don't know why I did that voice for Jesus. Compassion on them. I pity the people. My, my insides are turning for them and I want to take care of them. God will not let you perish. He will take care of you. He's created you. He's not going to let you perish. He's going to sustain you through this valley of sorrow as you're carried to himself in heaven. And he'll give you everything you need along the way. God bless y'all. See you next time. Bye-bye. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number four, L-I-F-E dot org.